Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, let's play some Asphalt 8. And today, as you can see on the title, we're actually going to be focusing on a sort of a new feature added in the game. This was announced since the patch notes, what was it, like almost a month ago? I don't even know. But I'm talking about the quote-unquote recharge event, which apparently it's called recharged with the D at the end, recharged event. So what is that? Well, when I was reading the patch notes, I actually thought correctly that it was just basically a new VIP system. In case you don't know what a VIP system was, because obviously by now it doesn't no longer exist. Basically, uh, based on the amount of purchases with real money that you made in the game, um, you would get, quote unquote, some perks in the game. Now, I'm not going to talk about necessarily all of the perks. I say all as if they were too much, too many. But there were some perks for being a VIP. The very first thing that jumps to mind of being a VIP was um, being able to, well, not having any ads in, in the game. You know that if you're a free to play player, uh, every time that you, I think it's every time that you finish a race or, or something like that, you're going to get an, a short ad, a skippable ad, but it's a short ad nonetheless. Um, once you went uh, with any amount of money premium in the game, you would get rid of those ads. And that seems to still be the case. For example, even though I lost my VIP level, I still don't get those intrusive ads. So that is fine. So that was kind of the idea behind the VIP level. But now we have over here the recharge. Uh, look at this. They, they can even, they can even, well, I mean, this is recharge event. This is recharged event. So I don't know if it's recharged or recharge. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. I don't know why they call this event if it's in the store, literally. If you missed it, uh, you just go to the shop and down here you will find it, recharge event. So, what's the deal with it? Well, first of all, if we have a quick look at the uh, at the stuff that you can get, the very first thing is that you can get this uh, for free. You can just claim it right away. If you haven't, do claim it. It's 10,000 of each. So it's not a lot, but you know, it's, it's something, right? So whatever, it's free. Um, but then, if we keep on looking at the rest of the rewards, well, they seem interesting-ish. You'll see why I say ish. For example, over here they give you some boosters, uh, three-day boosters, and if you have uh, the the um, aerial atom, you get a masochist, but if you don't have the aerial atom, it's an aerial atom instead. Um, then you continue over here, they give you some extra um, currencies, you can see not a lot, some, some parts, same situation over here parts and whatnot uh, some direct upgrades in class d so you can you kind of get the idea this is not like it's going to give you a ton of anything eight of each this part is probably what fifty thousand at best eighty thousand okay fair but still not a ton uh five or so direct upgrades some more parts etc 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 so even though it looks like oh you can get some some direct upgrades and all of that oh yeah but it's not too many now first i'm doing the rundown of the rewards because I want you to get an idea of what they are. For example, if we look around here, this is still five of the direct upgrades. You can get a bunch of wildcards, 25. Over here, you get, what, 35 or something? 30, um, 40. Then over here, this is the peculiar one. Over here, you can get, uh, same thing, the three-day boosters, but a master key for class S. Now, this is because I already have the card that normally would be showing up here, and that is the Koenigsegg Agera RS. So I'll talk a bit more about that in a second. Just want to keep looking at the rewards. At this level, you get 1 million of each. And finally, at the at the very end, for 8,000 recharge points or whatever they're called, um, you can get the, the this outfit, the supercharge, and some more boosters, right? Now, I have purposely avoided talking about how much you need, but how many points you need, but I guess it's time to have a quick look at that. So let's let's look over here eight points for the next one so if we click over here and recharge you will see that it sends me to the store and if i buy some what are they called vouchers uh, i can get some recharge points for example over here you can see that i can get eight points for remember that this is my local currency so this is not 25 dollars. this is 25 pesos um which means this is one dollar approximately uh, i don't know why game Love continues to have this incredibly high price per dollar but okay whatever um, so yeah, this is $1. So for $1, you get 8 points. Alright, that sounds okay. So for $1, I could get to this. And actually, this is something that I do recommend. If you want some more class, uh, another class C card that you may not have, and it's obtainable through a key, 
for one dollar you can get it and on top of that for one dollar you also get three day boosters one for each but still so for one dollar this isn't absolutely terrible but from here onwards is where i'm like yeah you just just abandon all hope because it ain't worth it so why do i say that if we look a little bit further ahead then we have that for 80 points uh we get the direct upgrades again 80 points how much do i need to spend for 80 points well here it is and this is ten dollars so you can see that the that the scale is linear right for one dollar eight points for ten dollars 80 points so that would mean that for a hundred dollars you get 800 points right that's that's kind of how what you get so okay I'm, again, I'm not I, I'm not trying to get anybody to spend money on the game, much less about this money, but I, I just want you to have an idea. So let's say that I spend $100 in getting all of this stuff, 800 points, and then I look over here at the recharge event. Okay, 800 points, that doesn't take me really far away, isn't it? Really far into... Uh, oh. Oh, it only takes me over here. I haven't even gotten to the Class B upgrades. Not even there. So... Let's look again. Now that you have an idea that eight, um, 800 points, aka $100, takes me where it takes me, how many points do I need to get the maximum rewards? Oh yeah, that's right, 8,000. <laughs> so this means that if you want to get this avatar, and, well, yeah, I mean, the boosters are okay, but not for the amount of money. If you want to get this, how much do you have to, 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 to spend? $1,000. 1,000 US dollars to get this stuff. And this is where things started exploding and people started really getting angry about this whole thing and making a big deal because apparently I'm not going to do the math right now but apparently you need something like $800 in order to get a Konex like Agera RS or in this case the the key now I'm going to play devil advocate over here and again I don't want you to 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 think that I'm trying to to defend Gameloft or uh, trying to convince anybody to spend this dumb amount of money in the game I am not but hear me out People are making it a huge deal because, oh my god, they're asking me to spend $800 to get the Konex Egg Agera RS. This is absolutely BS. Um, at one point, uh, actually a few times, they sold the Konex Egg Agera RS for $5 in the store. And now they're selling it for $800. Oh my god. And I don't know how much this is going to be, but let's say that this is $900. Oh my god, they're asking me, I need to spend... Um, $900 to get 1 million fusion cards, this is absolutely crazy. If you go over here, you can see that you can get a, a 1.8 million for, how much is this? $100. It's it's insane. Oh my God. They, they are crazy with the recharge events and blah, 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 blah. Okay, full stop right there. They are not selling, and I'll use this example because it's the most easy to, to, to understand. They are not selling you a Koenigsegg Agera RS for $800. This is where, like I said, people, I saw people really losing their stuff, their minds about this, like, this is so expensive, oh my God, it's so pay to win. And is it pay to win? Yes, but this is not what people are making it out to be. This isn't a store. You don't buy recharge points for money. I know it sounds weird, because if you click on recharge, yeah, you have to spend money to, to get recharge points. But you're not buying the points. You're buying stuff for money and you're getting points for it. So the recharge event is not about spend a whole lot of money to get this stuff. It kind of is, but not directly. And this is why at the start of the video, I mentioned the VIP system. Because the VIP system worked exactly like this. For example, in the VIP system, you could get the... Uh, at the maximum level, which was way more expensive than this, by the way, um, you could get the super exclusive car. What was the, the GTA Spanner 2015? <clears throat> so you could get it, but you couldn't buy it. You need to make a bunch of purchases. Now, here's what I'm saying that they're not selling you this stuff directly. Let's say that I'm a heavy spender in the game, right? And I like spending a ton of money in the game for whatever reason. And I know there are some people, and like I said, I normally don't try to judge people on how they spend their money. If you have a lot of money to spare, well, so be it. But let's forget about the recharge event. Let's say that I'm a heavy spender in the game, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Hmm, I need to get this mega sale for, this is about $20. I want to get this, so let me spend $20. Oh, and I need to get these things too. Let me spend another $20. Oh, you know what? I also want to upgrade my Bugatti Veyron. Let me spend another, how much is this? 
And I spent that and I got what I wanted from them. I got all my tokens, I got my fusion coins, I got my kits and all of that. And I just spent, what is it, uh, $55 on this stuff, right? Well, I got what I, what I got, I got what I paid for, right? I got my kits, I got my kits and my fusion coins, I got all of these currencies because I spent the money that they were asking me to. And on top of that, I get my recharge points, 160, 160, and 120. So that makes it, what, 320, 440. So I got 440 points. So I already purchased what I wanted. And on top of that, for 440 points, guess what? Now I just got to this thing. I got my, my stuff. I did not spend all of that money to get all of this stuff. I wasn't aiming to get all of this stuff. Uh, these are bonuses from what I'm for what I'm spending in the game. You, you see what I'm saying? You're not buying this stuff. All of this stuff is side bonuses that you're getting for spending a lot of money in the game. So this is what I'm saying that they're not selling you a car for $800. They're not selling you the Koenigsegg Gera RS for $800. What this means is that if during however long you have spent $800 in the game because you bought a lot of these sales, you bought a lot of these things, uh, you also bought some currencies, you bought some bought some fusion coins and some tokens, and then you also bought, well not over here because this is a different currency, but you see what I'm saying? If you spent a lot of money and over time you spent $800 in all of the stuff that you wanted, you got all of the little things that they were selling you, you wanted all the skates and all of that, and you just spent your $800 doing that, guess what? Because you spend that much, you're gonna be also getting this reward, including the Conic Sega Gear RS, because you spend that money already. I hope I'm, I'm making this clear, that this is not a store where you can buy this stuff directly. All of these are side bonuses from all of the other purchases that you're making. And like I said, this is exactly how the VIP system used to work. The VIP system, every time that you made a purchase with real money, you would get VIP points. And eventually, if you get enough VIP points, you will level up and you would get additional perks from that. This is all there is. This is VIP 2.0. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem to be time limited in any way. So probably, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if after X amount of months, six months or something, this is going to get refreshed. And there's gonna be another bunch of rewards. I don't know, or maybe this is permanent. The VIP system was permanent in the sense that it was the same rewards all along, at least from the time that I was playing. So for three years or so, the VIP VIP system remained the same. In fact, I made a video where I showed precisely how the VIP system as I leveled up. So maybe that should be appearing in the top right about now. But yeah, I just want you to 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 understand. This situation because like I said I'm not one to just defend Gameloft you know that I'm very happy to criticize Gameloft every time that there's new BS coming which was the case for this update where I, I was just complaining about the fact that the entire focus of this update was the store no new features no not a whole lot of anything except new stores including the recharge events which in the end is just another part of the store where like I said you cannot buy stuff directly but it's the perks for being a VIP so yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this topic because I really thought that people were making too much of a big deal about it in, um, I would say, unjustified way because this system is nothing new. It's just VIP 2.0. They just call there a different thing and they're giving different type of reward. But like I said, you might be thinking, oh my God, $1,000 for this thing. Yeah, it's insane. You, you bet I'll never get to this thing. I hope I never do. Uh, but. Let me just give you a quick refresher of how, we, how the VIP system worked. In order to get to the 15th level of VIP, which was the highest, and for you to unlock at that time the, the GTA Spano 2015, it wasn't $1,000, no, it was $4,000 you needed to spend to get a very bad class A card. So over here, at least at this amount of money, you get a decent class S. And still, whatever, I mean, whether this becomes a super exclusive card just to this or not, whoever snatched it for $5 is fantastic. I got it even before that. So it's fine. But all I'm trying to say is that all things considered, this is VIP and maybe not necessarily as terrible. The only thing I miss from VIP system is the fact that the VIP system altered the amount of stuff that you could buy over here. Right now, it says that in stock one, which would be the same as if I was in VIP level zero or something like that. As you leveled up on VIP, the stock would increase. 
So in whatever level I was, um, instead of one, you would get, I don't know, 10, 15, 20, I don't know. Uh, so this is the only thing I do miss from the VIP system, being able to buy more of this thing. I say that and I don't really buy stuff over here. So <laughs> I'm just saying that that was a, a, a very real perk that you had for being VIP. But, you know, all of that is gone. I don't know if this will eventually change and you will be able to get more stuff. So who knows? So, all right, enough blabbering. How about we finish this video with a couple of races? All right, and I decided to do the multiplayer TLE because I get to drive cars that I don't actually own. So that is fantastic. And I decided to bring a very bad car, but I like it very much. So why not? In the end, there's nothing for me to lose over here. I just get to enjoy the car and listen to its boom. And of course, that's the police. No, I'm talking. I'm it's, I'm, I'm joking, I was talking about this thing, the Renault Sport RS 01, oh what a beauty, I still have a master key on Class S and I've been thinking of using it on this thing, but I'm still holding on, because I don't know, maybe there will be a better reason to use the master key eventually, who knows, we'll see, but yeah, so, um, in the end, what I, the, the whole topic of this video obviously was the, the VIP system, and yeah, I, I just wanted to, to finalize that idea by saying that if if, let's say you don't have the the um, Koenigsegg uh, Agera RS and you're thinking of getting it for $800 and you're like, I'm going to spend a, a lot of money to get that thing in whatever I can in the store, then you're doing this wrong because that is not how that system, that recharge event is supposed to work. You're not supposed to spend money just to get the rewards. You're not be like, okay, what purchases can I make right now, whether they're good or not, to get me that car? No, that's not what that's about. It's a system, a, 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 a long, uh, what would you say? What, what would you call it? A, a long-term system of rewards. It's not for you to speed run it in. How quickly can I spend $800 to get that car? That's not what that whole thing is about. Look at that, a bit of Bolid, Bolid, Gemera, Jesco, Bolid, Jesco. Jesus, everybody was using Kings and a Gemera. And I beat them all with a Renault. Beautiful. All right, let's be fair. I cannot gloat about beating other players with better cars in here because I bet a lot of these people are people that don't have Class S cars and they're just getting to enjoy finally a Class S and they're not very used to it. So it's not like, oh my God, look at all of them. Nah, nah, that's fine. But anyway, so the idea that I was trying to give you is that there are like short term and long term things in this game. Short term, imagine something like maybe a, a festival, right? A festival is a short-term situation, it's short-term, um, I'm not even gonna call it rewards, because it's just, let's say, short-term stuff that you can buy. Because um, it's time limited, it's 10 days, no, excuse me, 7 days, uh, not festival, <coughs> car hunt. Uh, you have 7 days to either make the purchase and get whatever you can from the TLE and whatever, uh, but you have very limited time, and if you didn't do it then, you missed it, and that's it. Rip you, you know? Uh, R.I.P. I mean. But this is not the case with, oh god, with the recharge event. The recharge event is a much, much longer term system where it's meant for to, to let's say, reward you. I use that term very loosely over here, but reward you for the purchases that you've made over time. So yeah, like I was saying, don't try to speed run to get the rewards. It, it ain't worth it. If you're going to spend that crazy amount of money, spend it wisely if, over time. It's not about get things quickly. This is meant to be like, oh, maybe in three months, I three, five, six months, a year, I already spent my $800. Okay, there we go. Then I got the Connex Gagera rest as a bonus for having spent all, all of that money. But not really for you to just um, speed run to, to, that, to that level of purchasing. The so-called rewards for, for this system the, on the recharge event, they're not meant to be worth the amount of money that you need to spend to get to them. Like I showed. For what, $900 getting a million fusion coins? You can get much more than that. Almost twice as much for just spending one, I say just as if it was very little, right? But for spending $100. So yeah, the money that you have to spend for, to get the room, oh Jesus Christ, to get to the rewards is not meant to be worth it. It's just meant to be a, a an, an extra bonus for having spent that amount of money on other things. That is uh, that is what it's, it's supposed to be. Otherwise they would be giving, quote unquote giving, selling. Um, direct, uh, no, excuse me, uh, ultimate upgrades and things like that, if they really were uh, meaning to ask you to spend that much money in that thing alone. But yeah, that's not the point of this. And like I said, it's just basically the VIP system, just morphed in, in a slightly different way. But that's just basically what it is. So don't lose your head over it. Um, if you're a free-to-play player, just 
be be conscious of the fact that you you won't get to those rewards and that's completely fine they're meant to be there just for the people who spend not to get you to spend to get those rewards that's basically how i can reward it so there you go i just wanted to talk about this because like i said i did see uh, some people i saw some people in my own discord server the house of Brown. link is on the description if you want to join um really go and like oh my god this is absolutely insane and i'm like calm down people calm down why why are you making a big deal out of this it's just another vip system so I mean, if you're not spending $800 in the game, which you shouldn't, um, then how does this affect you? It's not meant its not meant to be selling you stuff like that. It's just meant to give you some rewards for being a person that spends $800 in the game. But oh well, like I said, I'm not trying to, to, to get anybody to spend money on this game or anything. I just wanted to explain what this system is about and how I saw some people really making it out to be something that it wasn't. But all right, that is where I'm gonna leave it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do, hit the like button, all of that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also check these other videos where I have talked about other stuff about Asphalt 8, and maybe this is about Asphalt 9, I don't even know. Maybe it's just random videos, but that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and stay safe. Bye-bye. Mm,